I hope this won't be annoying. Greetings, everyone. All right, so no funny business, no craziness, no jokes. I know that's usually what you see around here, but uh, today, as I'm sure you know, it is the 10th anniversary of September 11th. Now, I know I'm from North Bay, Ontario, Canada. Um, it's, it's not like I lived in New York, so I don't have a lot of things to impart about the incident. I don't have a lot of uh, experience with the tragedy that happened. But what I can do is I can offer my September 11th story. Unlike a lot of other people I know, I'm about 10, 11 years older than a lot of them, so I actually vividly remember what happened during September 11th. Uh, it was actually a regular school day. I was in computer program analyst at Canada College. I actually uh, woke up in the morning and I went to check the weather uh, because I was heading out to school and I wanted to, you know, figure out what I was supposed to wear. And as soon as I changed to the weather network, the weather network wasn't showing weather, oddly enough. Uh, and so I started flipping through the channels and I noticed that a lot of channels were showing the same thing. And at first I wasn't quite sure what it was. Um, and then I paid attention a little bit and kept it on one channel for a while and I realized that this, this was something big. This was a story that was being covered everywhere. And uh, at the time of the news broadcast, it was only after the first plane had hit and uh, everyone was, you know, freaking out about it. The news shows were going crazy and talking at the top of their lungs and all that kind of stuff. And I, I just thought it was insane. And uh, Jennifer, my wife, was sleeping at the time and so was our little three-month-old baby. <laughs> so I woke her up and I let her know what was going on in the news and she came out and watched it with me. And it was kind of interesting because there was probably a good 30 minutes of complete silence where we just watched the screen and we didn't say anything about it. And I didn't even, I eventually, you know, called my mom about it and she had already heard about it at the time. But I mean, I didn't, I didn't even do that right away. The first 30 minutes of watching it was just watching. Because as much as this didn't happen in my backyard, I knew that this was significant. Something major was going to happen. And, and the entire country of Canada was, was just as frightened as the rest of the United States was. Because they, they were closing down the CN Tower and kicking everyone out of it, just in case. Um, and, you know, any other large buildings were, were being evacuated. Many businesses were closing down just because. Um, it, it, was, it was a major event in the history of our lives and it started a huge war that to this day still hasn't even ended the war on terrorism so uh i know it's it's a small vlog with like 60 viewers and, and it's not much but i wanted to step away from the comedy and step away from the jokes and i wanted to take one blog to just say thank you to all the firefighters and police officers around the world even though the ones here in north bay didn't didn't have the ability to rush out to new york to help out in the effort you know that if something like that happened locally, they'd be right there. And these these kind of people, especially police officers and firefighters, they don't get paid a lot. And police officers especially spend a lot of their career being hated or feared. And it's just, I don't think enough people take their time out to say thank you. So if there's one thing you can take away from this video, it's that the next time you see a police officer or a firefighter, just... Take a moment to say thank you. Take a moment to, to, to stop and talk to them and say, say thank you for everything that they do. Because they don't, they don't hear it enough. And they really should hear it a lot more. So with, uh, with that solemn message, that's all I have to say for today. You can go, uh, go ahead and continue on with your YouTube watching. And hopefully, hopefully you'll be watching a couple other videos about September 11th. And just kind of take this day to stop and remember it. But for now... Blake off, eh?